Hello and welcome to a very hot and sunny England. We are filming this like a month two months after you did the work? Yeah, we're, we're very behind. Like, there's, there's quite a bit been done on Misty, but I haven't edited it or done cipher summaries. Um, to probably tell people that we didn't make it to the wedding. Well, no, yes. we well, made obvious. it to the wedding. <laughs> oh, yes, we made it to the wedding, but Not we didn't make it to the MOT. Yes. So. The reason being, spoilers, if you want to wait until the video, just skip this bit. But uh, the clutch slave cylinder needs rebuilding. And when I got to that point, I was just like, fuck it, and stopped caring for a little while. And I actually haven't looked at the car since. So. Yeah, is it even still in the garage? I hope I so. I may have scrapped it for all you it's know. It's actually been three weeks since I opened the garage. So we've got a lot of videos to cover the gap that yeah. we haven't been doing anything. And then hopefully I'll get back in the garage eventually. Life's been busy. Um, but anyway, what do I do on this video? Um, You're in this video. I'm in this video. You're shaking stuff. And you pop in a bit later as well. Oh, did I? Yeah. Huh. Um, That's good of me. First order of business, re-blackify all of these rusty brackets and bits. Got a while yet. I've finished. <laughs> Have you? Uh, yeah. A little bit more. The last a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. That's all looking much better. Should keep the rust at bay for at least one English winter. Finally time to start putting things back on the engine. So next up is this vacuum tube. Well, I'm not going to connect the actual rubber lines. I've got silicon ones on the way. So I'll at least get this in place. Next up is this piece of iron. I don't remember where it goes, but I'm pretty sure it can only fit here. So let's go with that, see what happens. Next up is the alternator, held in place by this beast. Here I've got a bag of alternator bits. Hopefully I can figure out how it all went together. And next up is the locking mechanism, which I believe goes like that. through and into the alternator. There it is. Right. Double check. Cool. The only thing is, this bolt was also in the alternator bag. I have no idea where it came from. Hmm. Welcome to our garden. This is our pond. You cannot see inside. Apple trees. Yummy. 
fig tree. We don't know why we have a fig tree. Figs don't really grow in England. Not a fruit tree. Another tree that's not a fruit tree. Bird bath. Very interesting. This is an Acer tree if anyone is interested. Look at it, very nice. Oh, look, some sun. Daisies. This Mahusid tree is a walnut tree. Very interesting. There's another apple tree over there. So my silicon vacuum line has arrived. It's time to replace all these. I can start with this one here, which I've helpfully labelled in manifold. And that clearly goes on there, so I just need to cut one that length and put it on. I'm going to reuse this protective shielding for where this one goes over the throttle body. short line here just goes from the fuel pressure regulator into this hard line. It looks very perished. There we go. Now this is an interesting one, or at least interesting as far as vacuum line goes, because it's meant to connect to this, which is a coolant temperature sensor that opens the vacuum line at something like 30 degrees and is part of the EVAP system. Now as you can see this is broken and has been as long as we've had the car. So this has basically just been a vacuum leak that um, opens up with the throttle so it could have been causing our misfire at 2000 RPM. Um, I haven't been able to find one of these used and God knows how much they are new but I will find out. But what I think I'm going to do is bypass this initially and see if it runs fine and if not I'll have to find some kind of alternate arrangement. Just realised I'm an idiot. I've remade it the same size but if I'm going to be bypassing it's going to want to be a different length to reach the charcoal canister so I'll put this back on for now but I'll probably have to remake it. So as is usually the case I may have messed up a bit here because this bracket needs to go in behind these that I recently reattached. Next up is this vacuum canister thing. Oh, bloody hell, baby. You scared the crap out of me. You right? See, how much longer are you going to be? Uh, it doesn't matter, like, I can stop now if you oh, okay. dinner's ready. Hello. And now the engine is finally ready to meet the new gearbox. Welcome to our two new Petrinas. I've been too lazy to check with you guys whether or not you want your names in the video. So in this video, your names won't be in it, but next video, assuming you're okay with it, they will be. Does that make sense? I hope so. Also, the camera battery's low. We are really unprepared for <laughs> all of this. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so yes, thank you for staying with us. Yes, really. Still. We have done nothing for a long time and feel kind of bad about taking your money, Petronas. Yeah. So we'll try and get some a few videos out in quick succession to make up for the lack of videos. And thank and you. And then for we'll with be us. on it again. Like at Misty's some point. point. 
and I will join in too. Well, that'll make my life a lot easier. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Isn't the community really bad in New York? Oh, when yeah. You New went? Yeah, when I went to New York, it was like living in a man's bullsack. <laughs>